ఫండింగ్ విషయంలో ఐఐటీకి ఇంత సపోర్ట్ ఎక్కడి నుంచి వస్తుంది సార్ ఎందుకంటే క్రోర్స్ ఆఫ్ మనీ అనేటువంటిది స్టూడెంట్స్ కోసం కానివ్వండి రీసెర్చ్ కోసం కానీ ఇన్వెస్ట్ చేస్తూనే పోతున్నారు చూస్తే ఎక్స్ట్రాడనరీ ఇన్ఫ్రాస్ట్రక్చర్ ఉంది ఫండ్ కనిపించట్లేదా మేనేజ్ ఎలా చేస్తున్నారు మీరు సో ఒకటి అండి మీరు చూసిన ఇన్ఫ్రాస్ట్రక్చర్ వైల్ గవర్నమెంట్ సపోర్ట్స్ అస్ రీజనబ్లీ వెల్ but at the same time it does not uh, support for uh, for example if i have want to have 1500 phd student tomorrow i decide let's say i will have only 10% of my students are only btechs and then 90% will be my mtechs and phds anukunte ganaka naaku i need a lot of funding okay now because while i should be in a position to pay so how do we do that nen me cheppan we have online mtech programs mm-hmm. and things like that where we charge students a little more mm-hmm. than our regular mtech students mm-hmm. so that is one way we raise money we go and go to many industries and try to bring some centers of excellence mm-hmm. or some research funding that is another way we are building our funding so this way uh, for example if you take this last year okay 2024 25 this kunte 24 25 lo we have got about 330 plus uh, crores of uh, research funding okay we have 325 faculty that means per faculty we have more than 1 crore second generation iits i don't think there is any other iit which comes anywhere close to that any number you take if you think of number of patents that you have number of projects that you have number of startups that we have any of these numbers we are significantly above the reason is we get connected to industry much more okay so this is one if we can bring in definitely uh, you will be able to be able to do the kind of uh, infrastructure development we i also should uh, say here thanks to japan hmm? jica has given a oda loan to government of india and suggested that that money should be used for iit hyderabad they picked up iit hyderabad for some reason so we are uh, really grateful to them and also for our government for having accepted that oda yeah. loan so both of them together have helped us and whatever infrastructure they are, you are seeing is thanks to both these governments which have brought that and then we have added more on research focus okay so we said that i strongly believe no institute can become great by buildings it is a people inside which make the institute great so we bring the best faculty okay and show them good research facilities and give them good seat for example i always say if you are brilliant okay you have 23 iits to choose from and 31 nits to choose from why should you choose iit hyderabad to join because salaries are similar okay we always say that we give them a lot of support okay we give them a seed grant for example we give Uh, almost 35 lakhs seed grant till last year this year we said we want to increase it to even 1 crore okay you join iit hyderabad if your ideas are good we may be able to give you 1 crore uh, uh, seed grant so that you can start your research by the time you put up a proposal to dst and get the proposal sanctioned it takes time until then your research should not suffer yeah, yeah, yeah. so we want to give that so this kind of uh, support we want to uh, provide and for that you need lot of funding so definitely india should focus a little more right now we have 0.6 0.7% of our gdp is being spent uh, on the research that should go towards 2% towards 3% which is what you see in china and other places and that direction should happen and at the same time indi- institutions should get connected to industry more rather than just depending on the uh, government money and raise money through if you can convince the, for example green co Mm. is setting up a school of sustainability on our campus mm. 150 crores okay coal india limited has given us uh, about 98 crores to set up uh, what is called clean coal technology C- center of excellence now our our um, uh, singareni calories is planning to give another 100 crores to set up a center of excellence on what we call it as uh, critical minerals ila industries are coming forward okay in fact our our uh, vog chairman uh mohan reddy garu has put around 20 crores to set up a school of uh, what is called uh, uh, innovation and entrepreneurship ila industries munduku vastunnai so in the next one year we are planning at least to have at least five more centers of excellence supported by industry okay so there is a lot that is happening and we uh, we have even uh, international companies for example there is a company called asahi glass company there is a company called uh, daya nippan company they are now talking about setting up labs in iit, in IIT hyderabad mm-hmm. so companies setting up labs that is how the country will grow companies staying away from academics will not 
make the country grow. Companies should come into the academics and academicians and industries should work together. Idi Jarigite, India will change. And NIRF rankings low, IIT Hyderabad position alone, sir. Prasatam, I would say uh, we are eighth ranked, okay. The first seven are the first generation IITs, you know. I am sure in a few years time, we will be entering into that league of first generation students, I mean uh, IITs. IITs. It will happen, uh, lot of initiatives that we are taking would help us. And we sh sh are also happy on another thing that innovation ranking slow, we are number three, okay. And in fact, we always say IIT Hyderabad stands for inventing and innovating in technology for humanity. IITH for us stands that it is not just Indian Institute of Technology, Hyderabad anymore for us. That we want it to go into our blood and think of innovations all the time. And we are bringing innovations in not only academics, but also into technology. For example, IIT Hyderabad is the only academic institution where there is an autonomous vehicle running between yeah, yeah. main gate up to the hostels. Last two, uh, 2023 August lo mother petam, almost close to in four more months we will be completing two years. 25,000 kilometers it ran uh, on our campus. Okay, so Ilantwani in about a few months we are going to test a 200 kilogram payload capacity drone. We want to call it as air ambulance, mm. so that you can lift a patient from a remote village yes. like Kandi mm. and take it into uh, one of the best hospitals. Let's say it has right now a range of 50 kilometers. Mm. Uh, we want to see if we can increase that range. So the battery capacities have to be increased, or maybe we have to move from a EV to a hybrid mode. In terms of that, all these we are thinking of. So that kind of uh, uh, air ambulance will have a patient there, will have an attendant there, and will have all the measuring units so that the vitals of the patients are measured and transmitted to the hospital where you are taking, so that the doctors know what is the condition of the patient who is coming to the hospital. Mm. So that they can already plan uh, immediately whatever necessary treatment that has to be given to that patient can be given. Ilanti ideas flow may work just now. So that ultimately we become useful for the country.